Hey guys, we are so excited to announce we are producing our own original content. Head over to the trendy for the best DIYs, fashion tips, makeup hacks, and so much more. We are sure you're going to love it. And be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section. We love to hear from you. See you there. Can you spot a fake purse? Well, it's time to put your skills to the test. Every year, billions of dollars worth of counterfeit items are sold, and that includes replica designer handbags. If you plan on investing your hard-earned money on a designer product, these tips on how to identify fake goods will really come in hand. Did you know you can tell if a Chanel bag is fake just by taking a quick look at the quilted fabric? Stay tuned to find out more. Hola! Did you hear about our latest addition to our family? The richest Espanol is the perfect place for all you native Spanish. Spanish speakers out there. Don't speak Spanish? No problem, come on over. This is the perfect place to practice. Amazing facts, interesting people, and funny pictures. Nos vemos ahí. Today we'll be showing you 10 ways to spot fake designer products in 30 seconds. Small details. Before buying a designer product from an online store or a consignment shop, it's always best to do a physical inspection of the actual product. Louis Vuitton purses are known for being beautifully crafted, right down to every last stitch. The stitching on fake bags is usually sloppy and never in a straight line. It will also be pressed tightly against the material, causing it to look much cheaper than the real thing. In this photo, can you tell which bag is the fake Louis Vuitton? It's the one on the right. Now, take a look at the thread underneath the tab. Counterfeiters will sometimes use two different color threads, which is a dead giveaway that the bag is 100% fake. Trademark when it comes to luxury bags, there's no brand that's more prestigious than Hermes. Some of their products are priced for hundreds of thousands of dollars, and those who can afford it don't even think twice about shelling out that amount of cash. Every Hermes bag is handmade by skilled artisans. They each have their own trademark stamp and also a blind stamp that includes the year the bag was made. These stamps are pressed into the leather and leave a deep imprint on authentic purses. But on the counterfeit bag, you can barely make out the letters and numbers on the fake stamps. The price is wrong. One red flag to look for when you're trying to spot a fake bag is to check out the price. In the luxury market, there's no such thing as a good deal, and these expensive pieces rarely, if ever, go on sale. If you see a designer bag marked down at a price that just seems too good to be true, that's because it probably is. Designer-inspired bags are made from cheaper materials and sold at a lower price point. To make sure you don't get tricked into buying a cheap luxury product, it's always best to make your purchase directly from the brand's boutique, their official website, or an author reseller. Hang tags. This next tip is a bit tricky. Some authentic bags, such as Michael Kors and Coach, sometimes come with hang tags dangling from their handles. Other brands like Chanel and Louis Vuitton don't. For the brands that have hang tags, make sure that the enamel tags have smooth and flat lettering, as well as a smooth finish. Knockoff bags will include the tags, but the letters are usually raised, which is a sign that the bag is completely fake. As for the brands that don't usually come with hang tags, just know that if you buy a Chanel and there's a leather swatch hanging from the handle, it's a pretty good sign that the bag isn't the real deal. Authenticity Card Real luxury products will come with an authenticity card that matches the serial number inside of the bag. But just because your product has an authenticity card, that doesn't mean you're out of the clear just yet. Counterfeiters have gotten really good at making fake cards, but there are still some signs you can look for to determine if your product is fake or not. Fake cards usually have a hologram effect to them, sort of like a rainbow of colors bouncing off the surface of the card. Also, real cards will feel like a credit card, while the fake cards are more lightweight and flimsy. Chain Strap if you want to know if a Chanel bag is fake or not, look no further than its chain strap. The chains on authentic bags are much heavier and the stitching on the leather intertwined in the chain is very precise. Authentic bags like this one with gold tone hardware has clean and seamless stitching. There's not a bump nor a crooked stitch in sight. But on the fake bag with the silver hardware, you can see a lot of obvious bumps and uneven stitching. On the authentic chain, there's also a double layer on the top flat part of the leather, but the same can't be said for the fake bag. Quilting Chanel is known for the iconic quilts on its bags, and thankfully, this is one part of the purse that counterfeiters screw up each and every time. Authentic Chanel bags don't have puffy quilts thanks to a low stitch count. In this picture, the fake bag on the right has thinner diamond quilts and the real bag has quilts that are more of a square shape. Would you be able to spot the difference between the authentic and replica bags now that you know the difference between the quilts? Imprint 
You'll never have to worry about unknowingly purchasing a replica Hermes bag after learning these next tips on how to spot a fake. Beneath the front flap of a Hermes Birkin bag, you'll see the brand's label. It should be lightly pressed into the leather in the same color that matches the purse's hardware. So a handbag with gold hardware should have a gold imprint, and a bag with silver hardware should have a silver imprint. The imprint should also include the correct accent mark on the second E in Hermes, and the imprint should be perfectly centered and very close to the top stitching on the bag. Inside Label now, it's time to take a look on the inside of a Chanel bag to determine its authenticity. The inside label on a real bag will be perfectly centered and running in a straight line. On a fake bag, the lettering might slope down slightly like the label on the right, and this is a huge sign that you have a fake bag on your hands. Counterfeiters are getting better at replicating designer goods, but it's these little blunders that separate the real bags from the fake ones. Turn Lock Looking at these two turn locks, it's pretty difficult to figure out which purse is real and which one is counterfeit. But if you look closely, you can spot one major difference. The turn lock on the fake bag is almost as big as the leather bit that secures the bag. Also, the leather surrounding the lock puffs up on the counterfeit bag, while the leather is nice and smooth on the real bag. Knowing all that you know about how to spot a fake bag, it's pretty easy to separate the authentic from the counterfeit. Don't you agree? Make sure to let us know in the comments which of these fake spotting tricks you'll be using the next Next time you go shopping for a designer product. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our friends at the Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers.